you would have often heard someone saying like give me one fourth of slice of one fourth of pizza or slice of half of the pizza so let's say that we have we have a pizza here we have a pizza here it's very weird pizza i'm sorry for that assume that it's a pizza and and if someone says that a slice of one fourth of slice one fourth of this pizza so if this is divided into four equal parts let's say this is pizza and this is four equal parts so if someone asks you the slice of one fourth of this pizza then you are going to give this one fourth now that person uses one fourth of or say half of this pizza half of pizza so in this video we are going to discuss what that of means when you say half of or one fourth of or one third of okay so let's begin our discussion let's begin our discussion and let's say that we have uh, three rectangles we have three rectangles or square whatever so let's say we have rectangle uh, rectangle one let's see like this okay then we have rectangle two second rectangle exactly similar exactly similar to the first one and i'm apologize if there's any dissimilarity but we assume that whatever we are drawing is exactly similar to the first one of course i can't draw with a perfection like they can't be completely similar without any scale so the third one Okay, so we have these three rectangles and suppose you divide these rectangles into two equal parts. This one, this one also and this one also. So this is the first one, this is second and this is third. Okay, now let's say that this portion, that is a half, half portion of this rectangle is of color pink this one is blue and this one is yellow okay this pink one this pink one this pink one is this particular block this particular pink block it is half of this one is half is one by two of is one by two of this whole that is one it represents a one that's a one unit so this is half of one like one is here rectangle similarly if we disk if we talk about this one then this blue block or the blue part this half of this will be half of it will represent this particular block will represent half of one that is this whole one for a moment just forget this one okay we will bring into this particular rectangle into our discussion after after some time so this is half of one for this one this particular blue block is half of one for this one okay now if if we take these two if we take these two that is the pink one the pink block so let's say that you have this pink block okay and then you have this blue block and you have this blue block If we take them together, so this pink one, that is half of one, and this blue one, 
this is half of one for this one if we combine them together combining these two blocks that is a pink one and the blue one this will these two will be the combining together will be will be half of two why half of two see what are the total number of blocks when they were divided into equal parts so this is one block this is two block this is three block this is four block so we have four i mean if we divide them these two rectangles into equal blocks we have four blocks right when i take this particular i mean just when i'm considering this particular rectangle and while i'm talking about this pink block i can say this pink block represents half of one similarly for when i consider only this second rectangle i can say that this blue block represents half of one that's of one unit but when i take these two this blue and the pink one and when i combine them together i will say that this is half of two because you have two blocks here and you have total number of how many blocks you have four blocks so you have half of two again because you have only two blocks so it's half of two now this is half of one this is half of one this is half of one combining them is half of two so if i add these two that is one by two plus one by two that is this one that is one by two of two is actually one by two plus one by two and if you you can write it in the form of like you take lcm and this will be one by two right this is after solving this one you will get one by two sorry i'm sorry this will be one this will be one this will be one okay so when you half of two when you combine this half plus this half this will be because this is representing half of block block one block uh, rectangle this blue is representing half of this second rectangle so here that's why we wrote it half of one and half of one in this case and you when you add these half of two that's here this will be half plus half this will be equal to one now we can see that we can see that this half of two is equal to one from here right now since one by two multiplied by two that is a fraction when multiplied by a whole number in this case is giving you one right now you can clearly see that this half of two therefore can be written as this half multiplied by two okay if you're getting confused let me let let me repeat it again this pink block was block was half of this whole one and this blue block was half of this whole one so pink is representing half blue is representing pink is representing half blue is representing half and when these two halves are combined together they are forming half of two why half of two because in this case you have in if you combine these two rectangles together you have total number of blocks as one two three and four so when you take these two only that is pink and the blue they are just becoming after combining are becoming two blocks therefore this is half of these two that is two now half of two can be written as this half plus this half that is one and one can be obtained by this one also that is you can see that if you multiply two by half you are getting one therefore this one by two of two can be written as one by two multiplied by two okay now if you would be thinking that what about this third rectangle so if you if you take this third particular block this one yellow one so if you bring it here if you bring it here that is this third block in this case the colored one now the after combining these three together you can clearly see that even this is this is 
combining these three together you will see that you can see that Let me write here. Now, after combining these three, this will be half of three. Why half of three? Because total number of blocks now in these three rectangles are one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? And in this case, when you combine these three blocks, after taking these three blocks and separating them, they are forming only three total number of three blocks. Therefore, these are half of three right and we can also say that this pink and this yellow block i mean just as we represented them here we can we can say that this yellow block is half of this whole one now combining these three blocks yellow pink and blue we can say this is these are forming half of these three now this half of three can be written as one by two why for this yellow one plus for pink one, one by two, one by two, plus for this blue one, one by two, because this is half block, this is half block, this is half block. For this, uh, when you take it for this, these one as a unit. When you add them, this will be three by two. Right now, you are getting from here what I what you are getting is half of three is three by two. Therefore, therefore, we can we can all uh, so, so we can also say that if you multiply half by three, you'll again get three by two, right? So from these two, from these two, we can say that we can say that we can say that that half of three is equal to one by two multiplied by three. So in both these cases, in both these cases, that is here and here, we can say that whenever we say off, this, these off represents multiplication here and here. You can say that these are multiplication. So if someone asks, says that you have a pizza and that person needs one fourth of that pizza that is this one so that means one by four of that pizza so you have one pizza so multiplied by one so that person wants one fourth portion of that pizza so that's the meaning of actually of off so whenever someone says that uses off with fraction and so just simply think it off as a multiplication